Welcome to Cindy E. Eats. I'm Cindy. Hey. Amen, amen, amen. How y'all doing today? Today I got me a black bass and this is a spot. Let's give you an up close and personal. I got some slap your mama. Crystal is here. I got me a little mustard also, okay? If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. <clears throat> Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you've been here before, welcome back, cuzzo. I mean, not cuzzo. Welcome back, fam. Welcome back, family. Welcome back to the aunties, OGs, uncles, and everybody in between, okay? Let's eat. Welch's. Bone in fish, people. Bone in fish. I'm gonna be on my chair a little bit. Oh, let me play it back this little bit. Y'all gonna see my little stand. I hope that's okay. I hope that is okay. But you still gonna get this feeling. Okay. This one is not hot. I'm gonna eat the hot one first, which is the black bass, okay? That'd be all right. I'm gonna eat that first. I'm gonna eat this. Um, slap your mama on this side. A little bit of mustard. And I'm gonna do that. A little bit of KFC coleslaw. You can't see that, can you? Let me see if the YouTube hand will work. You know the YouTube hand? They be like, check this out. Oh, it did work. There you go. She look creamy. How much y'all think this costs? It costs less than the chicken leg. I know how much a chicken leg costs. Chicken leg costs almost four dollars, and it's no bigger than my thumb. I know I said this one time. I went and wanted a chicken leg, and it was three dollars and some change. And I opened up the box, baby. It was no big bigger than Edna. I took her right back. I said I want my money back because you could have threw in. Two chicken legs for that price. And you like Cindy, they can't do that. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. I worked at KFC for years on two different occasions. Yes, they can. I myself have given out chicken. Yes, I did. I showed them dead. Chicken costs a lot of money. Especially when you eat it out. Just as much as you, it costs to buy it in the store. Let's not play. Why? Why, why, wouldn't, you, why wouldn't you just give me an extra chicken leg? Other places have. Specifically, Bow dangles. Okay. Okay. Never forget. When you get me and my child something to eat. She was the only one at home, at home at the time. My oldest was in college. Went to Bojangles, got a three piece with two sides. She get a side, I get a side. 
I can eat a chicken leg or a chicken thigh and be satisfied with my side and something to drink. She trying to look out for me. I'm trying to look out for her. The boy that took our order was laughing. He gave us four pieces of chicken. Okay. He gave us four pieces of chicken. Instead of the three pieces that I ordered. Just takes a little humanity. A little sympathy. Not to say, you know, you got to give it away every order. But you know how it is. I worked at KFC. Well, they still got it now. They got a wing meal. Back then, it was about $10. And chicken wings was tiny. When I say tiny, I mean tiny. Like this. Paying almost $10. I'm, I'm going to put in a, a, another chicken wing or two. It ain't gonna break nothing. Show ain't gonna break KFC. You know the amount of chicken I done throw away at night sometime? It wasn't gonna hurt me. I hate when you go through a drive through and they mess up on your order. Say, so, well, my daughter just had an experience. She said she ordered some KFC wings and two drinks. They gave her two fries instead. She's like, where are my drinks? They was like, well, we ain't here drinks. She's like, well, I want my drinks. That's it, give me the fries back. Why would you take the fries back? You're gonna literally throw them in the trash. So for your mistake, you're gonna take it back, throw it in the trash, and still have to give, it, give her the drink. Knowing it's a price difference. Why? Just give up the fries. What them fries was gonna do? Just so she wouldn't have them? Like my mama, she went to McDonald's, got a kid's meal. <clears throat> you know when you get a kid's meal, they give you them little baby fries. Since she's an adult, you know, I guess they gave her a small fry instead. Fries was old and cold. So she was like, you know, can I get some fresh fries? And then once you go to the counter, two managers. Oh, you're supposed to get two small fries, two baby fries, two junior fries. Okay. I still want fresh fries. But what, give it, what replacing a small fry with two junior fries was going to do? Hurt her? You know, because she still got her fries. She going to get to enjoy a small fry. If she wanted one, she could have ordered one. But she chose the kids meal. Being petty. Being mean. Gets you nowhere. And then you'll be the same person screaming, not screaming and hollering, but moaning and begroaning all over Facebook. Why, 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 why? That same empathy and compassion you want somebody to show you, show somebody else.
to me that's what the world has lost we want to receive it but we don't want to give it we want people to hear us feel for us but don't want to get that back put that back out there in the world we gotta do better people and I'm trying <laughs> not saying I'm mean y'all but I'm trying to like it's a very specific place on my street that I frequently pass by it's a little shopping center and the people like you you have different exits like you can leave out you got an exit that leads to the street and you got an exit that leads you out onto the main road on the right turn but people like to come out on this specific side with traffic. Traffic gets piled up and people like to push their way. You know, not wait for somebody to say, here, go ahead. They like to push their way. Like, you have to let them through. I ain't got that in me. Because I'm not going to push my way through over here. I'm going to go to the to the light. I'm going to go to the exit. <clears throat> I'm going to go around. It's the center section light <clears throat> on two main streets. Right? Why well, I'm going to do that? Why well, do that? Just go around. But you literally have people who put their car out in the middle of the street. Can't even turn. And just be. And we'll pile up three, four deep. And when one go, I'll expect to go. And when Sister Cindy is right there, Sister Cindy does not let to does not let anybody go through. You don't have to wait for somebody else to be nice to you. I'm telling my truth. I'm telling my truth. Now say. I'm right there. I tend to say now. Why do people do this? I ain't all day wrong for that. Yeah. It's time the Holy Spirit because uh, uh, remind me when I do something like that. The Holy Spirit be like, because you, you do it right here. And I was like, you know what? You're right. I got to do better. So recently I was at that, that specific spot. Young lady pulled up. I said, you know what? I'm going to let her through. Waited till the light turned. You know, so as she turned out, she can actually get on the street and go. Of course, somebody behind her. And I said, I'm just getting to one car. I ain't got to letting two and three cars go at this time. So you're going to have to wait for the next light, sir. You're going to have to wait for somebody else to let you through. But I'm working on it. I'm getting better. Mm. Yeah, hey, how y'all was doing today? If I didn't, how y'all doing today? I hope y'all doing well. I cannot complain. Y'all, I told y'all I wanted to update my resume. 
and it's this place called NC Works. All over North Carolina. They're affiliated with the unemployment office. I said I was going there today. Hopefully early enough. I can get somebody help me. You know what I'm saying? Just just sit with me, help me. I get up there. And the place is unusually packed. I'm like, what's going on? What they got going on today? What all these people doing here? I said, it would be just my look. They having a job fair. I would insert a picture. But this video is coming out on the same day that I'm posting it. And I don't want to edit. Because I want to get it out. I had on my little purple bucket hat. And my purple afro pink shirt on. Some purple sweatpants. And some flip flops. Now before I left, Holy Spirit was saying, Cindy, put on some tennis shoes. And I'm like, I do not feel like that right now. I can't. I've been up early. Took Lauren to school this morning. She was a little late. But that wasn't my fault. I ain't eating breakfast. I don't feel like that right now. And when I leave here, I need to go to the store. Sign in, you know they can't help me until you sign in. Get a man my information. Sitting this lady sitting next next to where I'm at at a table. I said, what's going on? She said it's a job there. Who here? She lists all the jobs, including my city. The local government. I'm gonna post a picture on my community tab so you can see what I look like. Sis was embarrassed. Who was? But I still went to them tables. Hmm. Who didn't? Went to the city table, found out jobs was hiring. Once I was done, sat right back down at that computer and applied for the job. Who did? I sure enough did, with no hesitation. And there's another place I'm applied to that was there too.
main reason I wanted to update my resume. It's a job fair tomorrow for Wake Forest Health, which is a large hospital system here that I'm going to tomorrow. So, sis will look appropriate tomorrow, okay? Sis will look appropriate. I will not be looking like a ragamuffin tomorrow. And I got copies of my resume, so. Yeah, I updated and tweaked a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and go so I can get this video up in time for tonight at eight o'clock. So if you made it this far in the video, it is three reasons I show up each and every time. Number one is to let you know that God loves you. So do I. And this right here. All of this right here. Is strictly for your viewing pleasure. Hope to see you next time on Cindy Eats. Bye.